Hi friends. I want to share with you a vision that I had many, many years ago and I haven't shared it publicly, but I want to share it with you to encourage you today. And in the vision that I had, I was standing in a courtroom. It looked just like a courtroom here on earth. There was where the judges and there were two sides, right? The pr prosecutor and where the defense is. And in the vision, in this courtroom, I knew that I was in a heavenly courtroom, but it looked just like a replica here of earth. And I was in this heavenly courtroom and Father God was the judge and he was sitting down where the judge is and there was the prosec prosecutor who was the devil, Satan. He was there um, as the prosecutor and I was standing with my defense lawyer, my attorney, Jesus, my advocate, and I'm standing next to Jesus and the judge begins the court session and the devil who is the accuser of the brother and he accuses us before God he was standing there and all of a sudden he said she is not who you think she is she is a horrible past and she is a horrible person and suddenly he moved his hand and a uh, projector appeared and it began to display like a movie, my life. And it began to show a lot of things that I did in my past. And it showed a lot of my sins and it showed a lot of um, things that I had done. And I was so embarrassed and I put my head down and Jesus steps up and he says, your honor, my client didn't do those things. And I looked at Jesus and I tugged at his shoulder and I whispered and I said, no, Jesus, I did do that. That's me all that evidence. It's all me. It's true. That video that was just played. I did that. And he said, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesus looked right at me and he said, you didn't do that. What are you talking about? And suddenly the devil disappeared and I'm just standing there before God. And all of a sudden I just felt so clean and so pure. And Jesus looked at me and he said, by my stripes, you have been made clean. My blood has sanctified you. You didn't do that. I don't remember any of that. I have thrown your sins into the bottom of the ocean and I remember them no more. And I just felt so clean and I just felt so pure before the Lord. And I began to cry and I came out of the vision. And when I came out of the vision, the Lord took me to the scripture in Zechariah chapter three, where he has a vision and he sees this exact heavenly courtroom and standing before God is the high priest Joshua. And he's being accused by the devil. And as he's being accused by the devil, Jesus, his advocate, his defense, that angel of the Lord, who is Jesus, defended him and said, look, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. My client, he's innocent. He didn't do any of that. In fact, he is, he's, he's innocent. And Joshua has these filthy garments. His clothes are dirty. His clothes are dirty. And 
Jesus commands, the angel of the Lord, Jesus commands that his clothes, his garments be taken off and that he's to put on clean garments because he has been washed clean. Amen. And that's what our Lord Jesus Amen. does. He doesn't remember your past. He doesn't remember what you did. The devil can try to accuse you. The devil can try to put horrible thoughts in your mind. He can even use people to try to remind you of your past. My friends, that's over with. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. And no matter how many thoughts of your past come, immediately you need to just rebuke it. You need to cast it out and say, that's not who I am. Get out in the name of Jesus. Because you are a brand new person in Christ Jesus. The old has passed. Everything is made new. And so I talk a lot about the courts of heaven because I have been there multiple times after that. In fact, I even take my cases in this physical earth to the spiritual courts in heaven. And so I want to let you know that in heaven there are uh, there is a courtroom and it has these beautiful steps leading up to the court and it is just like here on earth, right? And our Father God, Judge, he's there and Jesus is constantly advocating on your behalf. Jesus is constantly advocating for you. And he presents your case before the Father. That is why Jesus says, ask anything to the Father in my name and he will give it to you. Jesus is our advocate. He is our lawyer. He is on your side. He loves us. He wants the best for us. And in that, he defends us. And so in the courts of heaven, you can actually present your case. And that's why it's called a judge. You know, Paul says, go before the Lord and petition before him. When you petition here on earth, your case in, in heaven becomes presented, right? So when you petition here on earth, in the natural, you can go to the courts, right? You can even appeal and do all of that in the natural. Well, I'm here to tell you, you can do that in the spiritual as well. The Lord fights your battles, my friends. And so you have to go before the Lord and petition your case. Come to God with anything that you need um, help with. He is there for you. David constantly talked about the courts throughout the Psalms. He constantly talked about the courts of heaven and going before the Lord. And we go before the Lord and we enter his courts with praise and thanksgiving, knowing that he is on our side. And so you can go before God and you can present your case. If somebody did something to you here in the natural, in the physical, I decide you first go in prayer and present that uh, problem or that situation and enter the courts of heaven. And so how I like to do it is I go into prayer like normal and I say, Father God, I am here petitioning before you as I enter the courts of heaven. Jesus, I know that you are my advocate and this happened to me and I need your help. And I began to explain what happened to him. Just like I am, like you would do in the natural, right? In the courts of heaven. And so you can present your evidence, your witnesses. Just talk to him. Tell him everything that happened. He is on your side and he pleads your case before the father. And also... Uh, you can go to the courts of heaven and you can break anything that someone has said over your life because that's not true about you. And you can take it to the courts of heaven and present your case. And if something doesn't go your way here um, on earth, you can even appeal it. You can go to the Lord and appeal your case. Say, Lord, this isn't fair. This happened to me. I need your help. Please, Lord God. And also the courts of heaven, um, there are scribe angels that document everything. 
David tells us that all these books are written in heaven. And so there's books about your life in heaven. And so all things get recorded. That's a subject for another day. But everything gets recorded. And so there are scribe angels that are there recording everything. Just like here on court, right? They, they even draw. And what I got to see is one of my cases that I did present before the Lord. Um, in the physical something happened to me and i presented it before the lord in the spirit and he came to me in a vision and he showed me that my case was uh taken and i was granted uh, my case and i saw a scribe angel take a stamp you know like when you have that stamp and you approve something it's red and it said sealed and that scribe angel sealed it in heaven and he closed my case. My friends, I'm going to tell you not too long after that, what I needed happened in the physical. My case was taken up before the Lord God because he is my father and he is the judge. And here on the natural in earth, it came to pass because it was sealed. That's why he, the Lord tells us to pray on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven, my case went before the Lord, it was sealed and it was granted. And that's exactly what happens um, here in the natural on earth as it is in heaven, my friends. And so when I was talking about the babies and the abortion and how they have a case in the courts of heaven and the judge's gavel turned into baby's rattles, right? That whole thing where the baby's rattles, you know, uh, exchanged into judges gavels meaning that a lot of people are interceding and petitioning before god on the issue of abortion and our judge father god has heard our plea and so he has sealed it and that's a done deal and so the babies have won their case in heaven and so my friends i suggest that you go before the lord with anything that you may have on your heart knowing that God is listening to you. Take your case, your petition, as the word tells us. Go to the courts of heaven, knowing that your advocate, Jesus, is on your side. Anything that has happened to you, any word spoken against you, take it to God. Because he is listening, friends. And what is done in heaven is manifested on earth. Because it happens in the spiritual realm first and then it manifests in the physical so the courts of heaven exist and so i encourage you to take your petitions before the lord and read zechariah chapter 3 knowing that our god is for us in him we are a new creation he loves us and he has amazing things for you in store. You just have to have faith and believe. I will see you soon. I love you. I hope you were blessed. And um, and I will continue to pray for you. And if you have any petitions, you can also comment. And I would love to stand in prayer with you. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you soon, friends. Bye.